everybody, I am here at Taiwan and I am hungry. Oh my god, it was quite the journey here and I didn't get anything to eat and I didn't sleep till like 5 a.m. I woke up at 8 this morning but still rested in bed for a little bit because I was still very tired. But I brought myself to uh, get up, get dressed and walk around the streets because I'm in Taiwan. Oh my god, I love Taiwan so much. I'm walking on the street and there's like so many anime characters. It's so pretty. I, I feel like I'm in a more um, city uh, like this area. So it took me a while to find my first street food because this video is just going to be me eating street food for 24 hours because that is what Taiwan is so well known for. So let's go take a look. This guy's making some breakfast over here. I am ready to eat some food. So. I can't really tell what he's making, but it looks like it's some sort of the uh, Taiwanese green onion pancake. He's putting cheese and egg in there. There's also some meat going on. What is that? Chicken? Some kind of canned meat. Ooh, wow, he is loading it off with toppings. Okay. And then folding it up like that. Beautiful. Look at that. What? But he's putting an egg with some meat, some corn. Oh wow, that one is loaded with a lot of meat. See, I can't read the menu. Like I speak Chinese, but I can't, I can't read what any of that says. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to guess what he's making. Oh, he's cutting some cheese now, or just taking a slice of cheese out. Cool. <laughs> but it's spicy. <laughs> Ooh. That smell came over to my side. Oh, it smells amazing. He folds it up like that. Ooh. Wow, that is a that is a hefty breakfast right there. So cute. I love it. Customers are finally done. It's my turn now. And when I came up here, I was like, so I can't read the menu. And I told him to give me literally what he wants to give me. So we're just gonna have a little surprise meal but we're gonna see him make it so that's gonna be super exciting the ingredients are gonna include basil kimchi and also some corn and he's adding in the meats right now we're gonna get some ham and bacon oh and he's gonna put some cheese in there too okay this is gonna be a hefty breakfast so uh i think he's making me like the biggest thing on the menu or something with like all the toppings he had it, the omelet so this is very similar to the what the guy had in front of me before so i guess this is like the biggest item on the menu literally has all the freaking toppings oh my god it smells so good i'm so hungry oh another layer of cheese okay and he also asked me if i wanted spicy sauce or not so we're gonna have black pepper oh that's the basil going in that looks so good. this looks so good let's take a bite of this Oh my god, look at that melted cheese right there. Dude, I love Taiwanese food so freaking much. Oh my god, this is so good. The uh, pancake is so flaky. There's so much flavor going inside here. That spicy sauce I tasted, the black pepper, the basil gives us a nice fragrancy. Mmm. Oh my god, that is loaded with meat. Wow. That's amazing to see what I um, like find next, dude. Taiwan is so fun. Oh my god, look at all. It's so like lively. Like everybody's walking here, so it's very different in Singapore. The fact I walked that much in Singapore, my friends were like, why do you walk? Singaporeans don't really walk. And I was like, really? Because when I come to like Taiwan, everybody's walking around, hustling and bustling. Mm. Oh, I got a bite of that corn. That corn is delicious. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so good. My god. So fast. I finished that in like less than a minute. It was so, so good. It was like spicy as well. So it was sweet from the corn, um, savory from the meat, you know, spicy from the sauce. And I found more street food. We're gonna go check that out because I need more food. We're gonna go look at what's going on over here. God, I have no idea what it says, but it looks amazing. So <gasps> it's carrot cakes and fried rice. Oh my God. Okay, I have to get some of this. What's going on over here? I guess it's similar. This is also fried carrot cakes too. Okay, we're going to get some of these. So she pointed me to this menu. It has um, English. Very good. So yeah, that's what I really like. Oh my God, the tourniquet is only 60 cents or 60 in, in uh, Taiwanese money. I think that's like 
20 cents. I think that's like 20 cents. Ooh, fried rice with egg. That looks amazing. So this is um, Taiwanese like specialty oyster thin noodle. They got squid here, meatball rice, braised chicken noodles. Oh my God, it all looks so good. Oh, braised pork rice. I love that too. Wow. Because they have a very uh, little sit down area too. So it's easy for me to kind of like look at the menu and slowly order. They also have some drinks here too. They got papaya milk. I've never had papaya milk. I don't know how I feel about that. Should I try it? Papaya milk? I might not like it, but it's only um 20 cents too. So I guess we can try it. So um, let me turn it. So like I said, I'm going to get that turn cake for sure. I really want to try some sort of like noodle bowl or rice bowl. I'm not sure. But that fried rice looks so good. God, I sound so American. Come here, just eat fried rice. Okay, um, maybe, ooh, dry tofu. I love that. Dry tofu is good. I'm going to try the papaya milk. I'm going to try it. I've never had it before, but we're going to try that out. You know what? I'm going to get something simple. Braised pork rice. Braised pork rice is really good. Okay, there we Another go. Another dilemma. Um, so there's English here, but there's no English here, and I don't know which one is which. I mean, like, I can slowly figure it out, but I'm just gonna tell them what I want, otherwise, it's gonna take way too long. But she's basically refrying them. The best I can describe this is kind of like a deep fried crispy mashed potato, but it's so good. And I think they put like a sauce on it, and I don't know why, I'm just so addicted to these, and I love these so much. It gets so crisp, it up into bite sized pieces, it's getting so crispy. crispy. Look at that. This to my order because I totally forgot. I didn't see this on the menu, but oyster omelet is so popular here in Taiwan. So she added in a whole bunch of oysters, added in some batter. That's how she does it. A handful of oysters, and then she's gonna cook it up, fry it up. Ooh, yeah. It like splatters it all over. That's how funny. That's how the batter looks like. And then she adds in the eggs. And it's just kind of like crosses it together. Okay. Does this, this look incredible? This is all less than $10, by the way. Oh my God, I love that. Looks so good. All right, guys, I'm so excited to try this food. This was literally all like these four dishes. This drink is like less than $10. So this is the carrot cake. I'm dipping it from the sauce. Oh my god. Mm. It's so soft. Like, I I don't know how to describe it if you've never had a white carrot cake. It's not even carrot, it's like radish. Mm. Very crispy on the outside. Sauce is sweet. And it's just really soft and fluffy on the inside. I need a drink. So I got this papaya milk. This is my first time trying papaya milk. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, that's really good. It tastes like a milkshake. It tastes like a milkshake that's not too sweet. And it's very creamy. Oh my God, I'm a fan. I don't like papaya itself, but papaya is, you know, it's very like a creamy kind of like lightly sweetened fruit, but with milk added into this drink. Oh, God. that is addicting. Anyway, this is another Taiwanese specialty. This is oyster omelet. So they put it with some sauce. It's really like uh, sticky, kind of. It's not really like a fully omelet texture where it's like a little bit harder because you see it's like really gelatinous here. Mm. Okay, it's sweet, it's savory. I love the flavor, but I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest oyster fan. But that's just me. I don't like oysters that much, but the flavor is really good. I love the egg part. Mm. And this vegetable is like a really Taiwanese special vegetable. I believe it's called a Thai or something like that. A vegetable. I find it at Chinese supermarkets at home. It's a little bit bitter, so it kind of contrasts with the sweetness. 
but it's a very uh, good texture vegetable. I like it. I love this one. No. And this just brings back so much memories. This is also very popular at dim sum. I could eat this so much. Mm. This is just a snack I wanted. This is only a dollar. It's just bean curd. They added some sauce onto it. Mm. Soy marinated bean curd. Another star of the show is this. This is braised pork rice. This brings back so much memory. Mm. So the boba shop I worked at, they had this free for employees. And I remember working there, I would eat seven of these bowls every day. Essentially just like meat sauce in rice, but it's so savory and it's really fragrant. It just makes like a really like nice rice bowl. Now for those of you who don't like oily food, I will tell you Taiwanese food tends to be more on the oily side, but I love oily stuff, so that's why I love Taiwanese food. I'm just used to it. But yeah, that lady did not care about the amount of oil that she used. That might, you know, some people might not like that, but I'm so used to it. I don't really care. I think it gets flavor. It's so good. Mm. Oh, this was such all in all such a good breakfast. There's so much more to show you guys. I'm gonna show you more of the uh, specialty Taiwanese dishes for lunch, for dinner. Beef noodle soup is huge here. Three cup chicken is huge. Wonton noodle soup is huge. There's so much food that Taiwan has to offer and I'm, I'm just so excited to show you guys all of it. Because I really, really love Taiwan. This is incredible. I am most blown away by this papaya milk. That's my new favorite drink. Oh my god. All right. So much fun at that little shop. The lady was like, are you a... Um, the term was Wang Hong. I think that means internet celebrity. But I told her I was a YouTuber and she's like, oh yes, that. And then, yeah, no, they're so nice. They're all happy. They're like, oh my God, they're making me advertisement. I told them I was making a video. So they're like, oh my God, free advertisement. They were very friendly and you know, told me to come back anytime. It was really good food. Seriously, that papaya milk was like, Mwah. But either way, I'm gonna keep exploring a lot of um, stuff in Taiwan to um, look at. My, I'm looking the most forward to tonight because I think I'm staying uh, near a very, um, staying very near uh, a night market and night markets in Taiwan are lit. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll be awake or awake enough. I think my jet lag has definitely fixed itself to a point where I could eat more at night. It's the first day I was here in Asia. I was like, dude, after five o'clock, I was not hungry because I was like 2 a.m. for me or something like that. So I'm still kind of adjusting to like the meal times. Um, I'm starting to wake up a little bit later and later. 
Oh my god, my time, my jet lag back home is gonna be terrible, but it's okay. I'm having a lot of fun. They actually have a very good train station here. Yeah, like I said, I think the uh, Airbnb I ended up staying at this time is very in the industrial area. Into Taiwan, the Airbnb I stayed at was like more of a um, not as industrial kind of thing. Like not as many, like it's not as commercial is what I mean. Um, so there was, a, it, I found a lot more street food the last time I was in Taiwan. But I just have to look in the right areas, but there's still a lot of cool stuff to look at over here, even though it's more kind of like commercial. Look at this egg tart stand. This looks amazing, doesn't it? You got different flavor egg tarts. You got a whole shopping mall here. Ooh, selling some flowers because it's Valentine's Day right now. Singles Awareness Day, everybody. I know I'm going to post this way after Valentine's Day, but um, I know it's like the Super Bowl and Valentine's Day going on right now as I'm here in Taiwan. So these videos are going to be released way later because I can't edit as I'm um, traveling because the internet is so bad. Ooh, we got McDonald's. I'm definitely going to do a McDonald's video at um, Taiwan. Ooh, we got this little bread stand. I love these little stands. Ooh, and the boba. The boba in Taiwan is next level. Look how cute this is. It's Year of the Bunny, so there's some bunnies decoration like that. So cute. Cute little playground here. And look, it looks like um, Transformers. This is so adorable. A cute little play area, I guess. Oh, there's even more like, what is that? Are those ducks? It's like little ducklings. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is so cute. Wow. Oh, and that's a real cat. Oh my god, that's just a real cat chilling there. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Look at that. Look at the cat just chilling. So cute. Yes. All right, guys. So I came across this place. This is basically some rice rolls. I love these. So there's some purple rice going in, and she's going to roll it up with the ingredients over here. See that? Ooh, cool. I get these all the time at the Chinese supermarket. I love these so much. It's like sweet and salty. Oh my god, look how big that is. That is huge. Okay. Get a bite of this. This is basically about a dollar or so. Mm. Oh. I'll be honest, this one is um, a little bit dry, but the flavor is good. It's sweet, it's salty, it's crunchy, and I love the purple rice. Mm. Perfect snack. Squeeze it back together because it was kind of falling apart a little bit. I think she kind of like rushed making it for me because uh, she was about to close and I caught her right when she was closing. So yeah, it's a little bit dry. It's usually not like this. But it's still very good. The pickled vegetables really contrast with everything. So there's so much flavor going on in here. There's sour, there's sweet, there's salty, there's rice, there's crunchy. Very interesting. I love this. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's even spicy. This is literally everything in one bundle right here. <laughs> I came across this dango shop and this isn't Taiwanese, but it's Japanese and I freaking love these. So these are dangos and I swear I get so many of these. So we're going to get some dangos for these. These were buy five, get one free. So I was like, why not? I bought five, six of, or I bought five and got one for free because I'm going to like, I'm just going to keep these for desserts because these are so good. Let's eat them. I don't know what this is. It's a very simple like uh, idea. It's literally just glutinous rice flour and then it's um, mixed in with some sort of flavor. So you have three different flavors here. It's just so sticky and soft. I mean, very lightly sweet, but really fun to chew on. These are so good. Some of this in the Singapore video too, but the vandalism in other countries looks so pretty. Look at this. This is actually such cool artwork. Xiamen. 
That's so pretty. We went back and rested up a little bit and now I am out and about. We are gonna be heading towards the Xiamending Night Market. It is so lively here at night and look at this. There's an alley filled with food. Let's go check it out. Aisle. Oh my God. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know if I'm in the right place, but we see food. We're going to look at it. Oh my God, everything smells amazing. Ooh, what is this? Oh my God, this is Taiwanese sausage. I love Taiwanese sausage so much. Oh, look at that. Ooh, they look so nice and juicy. How is he making it? Oh, cool. All right, let's get one of those. Got it. It is so hot, so I'm going to let it cool down while I look at some of the other stuff because there's so much stuff to eat. Potato balls. Ooh, those look good. Let's try some of these. Let's try these out, these sweet potato balls. Oh, it's airy. Mm. Oh, wow. It's like, like a, just like a little fried fritter. Lightly sweet because it's sweet potato. Mm. Yeah, for a dollar, I got nine pieces, which is a nice little snack. I'm gonna keep walking. See what's going on. Ew. A lot of people out. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I, it smells terrible, but I love this. Stinky tofu. One order is two dollars. They're frying some of that right now. Oh my gosh, let's get some other random store to try this because I want to hold my phone and be able to show you guys. But yeah, it's got a little bit of sauce, a little bit of spiciness. You honestly get a little bit of that pungentness, but I feel like for me, it's already an acquired taste and oh my God, it's so good. Ooh, and it's spicy. Oh my God, it's spicy. It's so good. Mm. Try some of these vegetables. Oh. That's absolutely delicious. Yeah, I'm just so biased towards like Taiwanese food because I grew up eating this. Mm. Oh, hot. So good. Performance going on. I have no idea what's going on, but. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but let's keep walking. Maybe grab a drink or something. There's a lot more stalls down over here. Oh, this one's a long line. We got some boba tea. Good. Looks like a lot of people are lining up for this one. It's like large fried chicken or something. How big is it? I want to take a look. Oh, I see that in the back. Wait, those are huge. Okay, I definitely have to get one of those. The size of those? Oh my goodness. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, okay. We're getting ordered. That fried chicken only costs about like two and a half dollars to two fifty, something like that. Um, and he also gave me a coupon to get a, a discount drink on this side as well. Put the chicken to cook. We're gonna eat the sausage because it cooled down now. Oh my god. The Taiwanese sausage is like sweet. Mm. Wow. There's so much texture to it. Mm. There's so much meat in here. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. Ah, this is so good. It's so massive. Oh, it's mm. a bone. Oh, the flavor is so good. <coughs> oh. I asked for the most spicy one. <laughs> you see all that chili powder out there? Oh. Ooh. It's not a 
intolerable spicy. It's just a lot of powder. I'm kind of choking on it. Mm. Ah, it's so good. Ooh, that's really good tea. It's just like really refreshing. I got like no sugar. So it's just green tea. Mm. Oh, this is so amazing. I know that it was like the chicken thigh kind of like flattened. I thought it was just like one huge piece of nugget, but still very good. Mm. You just gotta kind of work around the uh, bone. Mm. So good. Remember to bring some napkins with me to the night market. Mm. So I got through all the bone part, and this is all the crispy part. Mm. I mean, for $2, this is a really good price. Mm. The line for it is still pretty long. about 30 minutes for this. It's worth it though, it's really good. Taiwan is um, claw machines are really popular here. I actually won a lot of these before and um, yeah they're actually like not rigged. You can actually win a lot of stuff. Oh this is cute. Yeah a lot of random stuff in here but claw machines are really big popular. There's You see a lot of these walking around. Snacks like that. I'm gonna try this. This is Pokemon looks cool. Okay I, I totally aimed really badly. Oh my god, wait, I'm actually so close. Put another one. Wait, this is how they get me, isn't it? Oh my god. <gasps> okay, they're actually like playing with my feelings. Oh my god. Okay, oh my god, I actually got it. Holy moly. Wow. I don't know what it is, but we want it. If you can just get stuff. With. I'm gonna get one of them. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I actually won a prize from these claw machines. See, these are way too rigged in, Cal in like U US. You can never win any of these. He saw I want this and he repositioned the stuff so that somebody else could win it also. Oh, there's a McDonald's here. We're gonna vlog at that later on. Um, but yeah, it's so nice. The claw machines here, like they want you to win. Like they're not trying to skamaz you, which is really cool. It took me three tries, so that was about a dollar. Or he told me these are uh, Pokemon vegetable cookies. That's super cute. <laughs> Here, I found this shop and um, yeah, I have to try the strawberry one. <laughs> this is too funny. I open it up and it's chocolate. <laughs> it's strawberry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. It's got nougat in the middle. <laughs> Strawberry chocolate. Mmm. <laughs> oh. It's got like a cookie center. I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh. Oh, that's a straight up chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> I went ahead and shower because I totally forgot I did uh, didn't do an outro, but yeah, basically that was my night and my day eating just um, street food that I found. My makeup is still on, excuse me. I thought I did an outro, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching for today and I'm definitely gonna do more um, like night market videos because th I think this night market is like very small because I barely found anything. I'm gonna go do videos on like the full night market so we're gonna like see more varieties and stuff especially at like the Xilin night market and the Rohe night market I believe because those are the more popular ones. This one I've never heard of but it was still very fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video, liked me wandering around Taiwan and stuff and hope you guys enjoyed like the journey and 
um, hopefully you guys are looking more forward to more of the videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.